Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I greet you all in that wonderful and mighty name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. This morning's scripture is taken from John 12, and the focus verse is verse 35, and it reads as follows. Jesus answered, the light will be among you a little longer. Continue on your way while you have the light so that the darkness will not come upon you, for the one who walks in the dark does not know where he is going. This is the word of the Lord, and we give thanks to God. Good morning, family. Um, so this morning I want to talk about light and darkness. Um, you know, we have our own meanings and, and definitions and understanding of those words, um, you know, but I, I wanted to get a better understanding as to um, how darkness impacts our lives and why light is important, um, and particularly the light of this world, Jesus Christ. You know, how can we understand what that means to us and for us. And so obviously I, you know, as I usually do, I would go into looking at um, the Hebrew words um, and, and getting an understanding of, of um, you know, the word in Hebrew. In this case, it should have been Greek because the New Testament is written in Greek, but um, I actually found the Hebrew meanings um, gave just a little bit more and so um i hope it you know it also enlightens you as it did me so um the hebrew word i'll start with darkness the hebrew word for darkness is actually composed of three hebrew letters and those letters are chet c-h-e-t sheen C -H, sorry s-h-e-e-n and kaf k-e-k-a-f the first hebrew letter in the word darkness is the letter chet and this word has a meaning that can be um, understood in two ways it is a sanctuary or an inner room it is an area that is private and separate um, that is usually designed to protect it is a secure private place the letter chet can also mean to be cut off in a place that is separate or private. So like a prison cell, for example, right? Um, that is a private and protected place, correct? So on the positive side, Chet is a place of protection, of stillness. It can be a quiet sanctuary. But on the negative side, Chet is a place that separates. It is a place that cuts you off. The second letter that makes up the word darkness in Hebrew is the letter Sheen, which is the 21st letter in the Hebrew alphabet. Sheen is pictured as teeth. <coughs> Pardon me. It is a picture of being pressed down, crushed and destroyed. It is pictured as sharp, to consume, to destroy and to press down. And the third letter is um uh, that makes up the word darkness is kaf k-a-f kaf is the 11th letter in the hebrew alphabet and it is pictured as the palm of a hand now kaf can also um have a twin meaning it is the picture of a hand that either covers or uncovers it means to open and allow or to close and forbid entrance so what does this tell us about darkness? You know, in our own understanding and in our own meaning, for me particularly, um, darkness is the absence of light. You know, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Darkness is the absence of light. Darkness obscures um, what we see um, and, and it, it obscures um what is real you know so um but what this 
brought to to light for me this this um the the hebrew meaning of the word is that darkness is a lonely place where i am completely cut off shut off separated imprisoned a place that crushes and presses me down a place that destroys anyone that enters into its solitary confinement a place of no escape when entrance or exit is forbidden. Darkness is a place that no one should desire to enter, ever. There is no light or hope in darkness. So, having gone into the meaning of darkness, I then also obviously went into the Hebrew meaning of light. The Hebrew word for light is a word or, O-R-E, or O-W-R, <coughs> which means scattered light. So we know that the word first appears in Genesis 1, verse 3, where God said, let there be light, and there was light. But now we know that this was not light from the sun, because the sun was only created on day four, right? This was light that created directly from God himself and it permeated through all of creation, right? So what can we, what can the Hebrew uh, pictogram for or show us? The word or is composed of three letters, Aleph, Vav, and Reish. Aleph is A-L-E-P-H, Vav is V-A-V, and Reish is R E. Y-S-H. Aleph is a picture of an ox, and this means a strong leader or God the Father. That's what Aleph means. Vath is a picture of a wooden hook, or it could be a metal nail, and this means to fasten or secure two things together that are separated from one another. Reish is the picture of a head, and this means leader or master or prince. So this tells me that God the Father is connected to the Prince, right? The letter Vav, which is the, the letter in between the two, connects things together in Hebrew. So this light is the result of the work of both the Father and the Prince, his Son. We know from John 1 verse, um, uh, I didn't write the verse down now, oh, verse 5 I think it is. We know from, from John 1 that God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. And John 8 verse 12, Jesus said that I am the light of the world and he that follows me shall not walk in darkness, which means you, won't, you will not walk alone. You will not walk in, in, in a pressed, imprisoned uh, uh, um, uh, situation without hope. But you shall have the light of life. Just as there was light in the beginning, there was also the word. Remember John 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. We also know that the word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. The word and the light are one. Now, our understanding of light is correct. Our understanding, I'm sure, as everyone else, my understanding of light is that it reveals things. It, it gives clarity. It gives, you know, it reveals things. It makes um, you see what's in front of you, it, you know. Um, it opens up um, things to us. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, but this word, the Hebrew word for light, just, oh, it just puts things in perspective for me. That yes, light, it has all those meanings, but the actual thing is that God is light and him and his son work together. I mean, this word or has these three components that make up the word Aleph, 
which means strong leader, God the Father, and 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 Reish, which means prince or master, um, uh, or leader, and and this is God the Father and His Son who work together. They are both those three components is what the Hebrew word gives for light. Do you see what I see? Like it's not saying light is an illumination or light is, uh, you know, gives, takes darkness away, which it does. But what it's saying is that the father and the son is light. That's what this word is saying. So when you find yourself in a place of darkness and you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, I hope you know that you do not have to get to the end of the tunnel to see the light because God himself is with you and he is the source of light. He is light himself and he needs you to immerse yourself in his word, in his son, so that you do not remain in that position of darkness. Jesus said that I am the way, the truth and the life. It is the light that gives direction and shows the way. It is light that reveals the truth of who you are and where you are and gives you direction of where you're going. And it is light that gives life because he is the light of the world. I hope that blessed you as much as it did me. Have a wonderful day. Walk in the light so that darkness does not come upon you. Have a wonderful day all. I love you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please pray with me. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth just as it is in heaven. Father, I thank you this morning for your word. Because your word, oh my God, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are that word that makes the way, that gives us truth. And that is the life. Thank you, O oh God, that you are our God, that you are our Father, that you are the Holy Spirit, that you are the Son who came and died for us, O oh Lord God. So that we may be in the light that will bring glory to God. Thank you, Father, for everything you do for us. Thank you for your patience that you have with us, O oh Lord God. That even in our unbelief, O oh my God, you still give us time. Thank you, O oh Lord God. That you would still call us, O oh Lord God. Pursue us, O oh Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus, that you never leave us and that you never forsake us. Thank you, O oh God, that there is light for us to walk into. Father, your word says that if, if we believe, O oh Lord God, then you will know that we are with you always. And that we don't walk this journey on our own, O oh Lord God. Thank you for eternal life. Thank you for this life that you have come to give us abundance of. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for redeeming us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for being so gracious and kind and faithful. We give you all glory. We give you all honor and we give you all praise. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.
Protected in his arms. 